Welcome, everybody, to the Breachers VRML Season 2 postseason interview. My name is Nightfire with two E's. Today, I am joined by the ranked fifth team in North America, Ignite. Batman, Unbroken Verdict, and Alfred, why don't you guys introduce yourself? I'm Unbroken Verdict. I'll start off. I'm the captain of Ignite, and then you can go on the boat. Right, hello, I am co-captain of Ignite, Alfred. <laughs> yeah, and my name is Batman. I I have to carry this team. He's you right. Know. He's right. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> After eleven weeks uh, of this season, you, know, you ranked fifth. How does it feel to be fifth? Are you happy you, with where you're at? Is it is it what you were looking for, looking to achieve when you started the season? Uh, I'd say yes. Um, definitely something we were trying to achieve. Definitely just getting within the top eight. Last season, we ended on the eighth seed, so we had to go through the whole CC route of the situation. But to end up farther than that at this point in time, definitely, definitely positive note on us. You know, we always strive just to keep going higher and higher every season. So to achieve that goal this season is definitely a big thing for us. So I, I definitely am happy with the way we were placed for this season. Batman, how does it feel to skip the Challenger Cup and get to watch? It's so nice. Last season, um, <laughs> there was a bit of just bad plays on our part, just not being prepared enough and just a few things with timing, everybody not being up on time. And then we ended up taking a big L our first game and then winning the rest. Yep. But NCC, oh. if you lose one game, you're pretty much out. Yeah, it is brutal. And we had fantastic matches last weekend. If you missed any of those, you can catch them on the live VOD right now. I wanted to kind of get your perspective, uh, Alfred, on the season and maybe one of the more the most challenging part of it. What was the hardest part of season two for you? Match versus Nerdy. Sure. We got stomped right there. That match was very rough for us. I think it was 7-2 and then 7-1. Pretty sure yeah we weren't ready at all for them kind of kind of just lacked our kind of lacked teamwork right there like. yeah it, it was definitely the gaps when we come across the you know the top teams especially you know acer and aspect kind of just being the ones kind of leading the charge for the for the vermo season you know so coming across those guys you know they're building blocks for us like when we come across these type of teams so it's like when we face teams like eternity aspect acer it's like yes we take the l and you know and we usually don't get most of the upvotes for those type of games majority throughout the season as well. But nevertheless, it's like these are still things that, yes, they are, you know, bumps in the road. But like I I we, I we always talk about the perspective of just kind of seeing it in the sense of how we can build upon that. And so regardless, I definitely would have to agree with Alfred and say that when we face those top teams, the Pernity aspect and Acer, definitely, definitely something that, you know, got, gave us some trouble throughout the season. Uh, do you know who, who are you going up against this weekend? I believe we are playing Fusion. Yeah, yeah we Fusion are playing this Fusion week. this week. Which we tied. You know, they're, they're just underneath the Eternity Aspect Acer trio there on the mm -hmm. regular season rankings. You know, how do you feel about them? How are you preparing for them next weekend? And Unbroken, you can start. Batman, whoever. So with, with we weekly we have been really locking down on our scrim. So it's like as many reps as we can to get in as possible. That really does benefit us. Um, for example, even playing in the BCL league, we played our match today. You know, mistakes were made, but these are things that you know I'd rather make these mistakes here rather than this weekend. So it's like the in terms of that, I definitely think that you know that's kind of where I stand. So I'll let Batman. We're just mm -hmm. kind of. Putting in research, doing what we can, just looking at the bracket, watching watching matches, playing scrims, just trying to do what we can to prepare for whatever we can do. Yeah, we talk about the bracket and we talk about those top three. And the reality is if you win this weekend, you'll move on to next weekend to go up against most likely one of those top three teams. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you're doing to prepare for them as well? Are you looking forward that far ahead? Oh, definitely. I think just because we, we have played are all, all fair of the top teams already, whether it may be scrims or in matches. So we do have our intel in terms of that. Also, you graciously streaming some of these beautiful games for us. Like we are able to watch some of those back and kind of get the intel on that. But nevertheless, you know, they know that people are watching. We know that people are watching our game. So it's like, 
they probably will be making their adjustments and it's just a matter of us to just be be able to really work on hone and to, uh to be a, adaptable on the fly when it comes to those type of situations batman if you look even further and you do win in the semifinals get that flight out to the grand finals live on stage at vrml con is there anything you or the team is going to be doing to prepare for that on stage performance well honestly that's something that's just like completely <laughs> we haven't really thought about i feel i feel like because it just when it comes to everybody's schedules and how everything works and two of our players actually play on cv1 so we're gonna have to switch to quest in order to play there if we do make it so it's just like it's a lot that we're gonna have to practice and prepare for it like that's even if we get to that point mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, if I, if I may add on to that, not prior to let ahead. me. Yeah, I, I definitely, you know, it's it's in the thoughts, man. It's definitely in the thoughts. I, I picture the situation just being like, even if it, we were on a stage playing in front of people, it's like, of course, we'll get the jitters. We'll, but the second we put on the headset, get through the, you know, the get the blood flowing and just really just get in the vibe. I feel like all of that kind of zones in because it's like once we all start playing and once we all start locking in, it, it kind of get tunnel vision, you know, in the sense of prioritizing what we need to focus on. So I, I really trust in that capability for us when that when and if that time comes for us. <laughs> yeah, putting the headset on will definitely help zone yeah, out the crowd a little exactly. bit. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, I've suggested maybe blaring some uh, crowd noise in your room when you're playing. It's oh, like, uh, <laughs> like a warm-up tool. There we go. Uh, well, you got a long road ahead of you guys, but it's uh, ultimately just two weekends, two games, two best of threes, and uh, the best of luck to you coming up here in this postseason. Thank you guys so much for jumping in and chatting with me. This has been Ignite. Uh, shout out to you, to you three, and, and again, good luck. Appreciate Thank it, Nightfire. You. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for the Thank time. You. Thank you. Any final shout outs to anybody you want to you want to give anybody want to give any shout outs to anyone anything like that? Listen, oh, we give a shout out to the Ignite oh, Squad. Yeah, yeah. The, Ignite yeah. Squad. the rest of us who couldn't show up. Shout out my shout evil twin out. Sabovia. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's my evil be our twin. team. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it, Nightfire. Thank, Thank you. you. Again, flying out, rifle in hand, catches one, two, three. Oh, no! Big Blue is right on the top lane. And there's a double kill that comes in from Cozy. Can he get to the EMP inside? He's fired.